Hello everybody, this is Elissa from Main Cards and Crafts and today we are going to take a look at some of the spoils of war uh, that I got from the retreats. Uh, so I was like, what am I going to do for today's video? And then I was like, you know, I have this mess of stuff on my desk that I really need to like finish sorting and going through. Why don't I kind of go through and show you guys some of all of the goodies. So if you ever want to know like what you could potentially get from some retreats, well, we're going to go through and see it. So this is a combination of the swag bag from the Crafter's Paradise Retreat, the swag bag from the Great Lakes Escape Retreat, and all of the stuff that I purchased or won from both retreats. So I'm going to try to comment. I already like opened everything, took it out of the packages. So I do not remember where some of the shops were from because I already like took it out of packages and everything because I was like, oh, I'm going to sort everything out, condense it down, get rid of trash and start taking care of everything. So I already did that. I did that yesterday and I came in and I was like, I need to do something about this mess. So we're going to take a look at everything and go through it all. But I was like, hey, I'll show you guys some of this lovely mess of everything that we've got and go through everything. And I was like, what better time to do it than before I finish taking care of the mess? Because I know some of you guys are probably like, what was all the goodies? What did you get? All of that fun stuff. So we're going to take a look at this mess of everything and see what it all was and go from there. So we're going to start with, you know, my favorite part of everything, the pens. So I did have, uh, I did not purchase all of these pens, but uh, I purchased some pens. We'll say that. I purchased some of these pens. Uh, these are from Leopard Leatherworks. I did win one of the pens, which let me find it. Um, one of these pens was this one right here. Uh, I'm going to open this up and we're going to take a look at it. So I purchased one or one, I won this pen as a door prize from the Crafters Paradise uh, retreat. And then since I was going to be at the, um, I was going to be at the Great Lakes Escape Retreat and so were Tim and Carrie. Uh, I just told them, hey, go ahead and just bring it to, because they turned it custom for me so I could get exactly what I wanted and it wasn't like already pre-turned. So they turned it for me and brought that pen and then the rest, the other four pens that I had as customs, um, they brought all of the pens, turned them and brought them all and delivered to them to me at the Great Lakes Escape Retreat. So it's kind of like a little bit of a mini small shop haul. But anyways, this was, oh, let me turn my other lights on. I'm like, why does it feel so dark? All of the stuff. All right, we're gonna at least turn that one on. I can't reach the other light. It's buried. Oh, there it is. We got to get it. Okay. But look at the beautiful blank. This was the Great Lake or the Crafter's Paradise, like the mermaid blank. And it is beautiful. It's stunning. It's got so many beautiful colors in it. Um, so this is the blank that I had, uh, that I got, uh, that I won for our Adore Prize from the Great Lakes or the Crafter's Paradise. I'm going to say, say it the wrong way. That's from Crafter's Paradise Retreat. And then I had a couple different blanks um, turned. This one, I have been waiting for this one to, to come back in stock or come back around and to be able to snag it. But look at this beautiful mermaid uh, scales blank that I had done and turned and then sent. It is beautiful. Love it. Uh, and that one is a stunning blank right there. Love that blank. And I love those colors and that gradation of color right there. And then we have da, 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 da. we're gonna go ahead. I'm trying to condense some of this mess down. I'm gonna go to the floor in a second. This one is so funky fun. Uh, and look at the colors on that. It's like so interesting. Like you never know what these are gonna look like until you get them. But look at how interesting that is right there. It's so fascinating. Look at that. So fascinating, very, very fascinating. Um, and then we have, I'm loving these. I'm trying to go fast because we have so many things to look through here. And then we have this one right here. Look at that, oh, look at those colors. Those greens and those kind of like golds with like the whites kind of flecked in through there. That's in fascinating right there. Very fascinating coloring wise. Oh, I love it. That one is really cool. Uh, and I kind of like this little, almost like a marble in the middle to kind of give it a little bit of a different look. 
And then this last one is, doo -doo 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 -doo. look at the, this one right here is super fascinating as well. Those greens to whites, super fascinating there. So those are the five pens that I got from Leopard Leatherworks. So those ones there, and now we're gonna pull out the other pens that we get, or that I got. So next up, I won this beautiful pen right here was actually a door prize, or this one was actually a uh, in all of our goodie bags from Crafters Paradise Retreat. This was the pen, the free pen that we got. Everybody got a pen from Enablers Outpost, and look at how beautiful that blank is. It is so gorgeous, and those colors, oh, beautiful, love it. So that's from Enablers Outpost. So that was that one. I did purchase this one off of a D stash. This is one that I think Cheryl G was selling this pen and it was so stunning. I could not pass this one up. That was the only pen that I purchased from everybody that was D stashing pens. I controlled myself and I only bought this one pen, but I could not resist this one pen. I mean, how stunning is that with like the lacy in the middle and it's like green and teal and black. Oh, it is beautiful. So I bought that one. And then I won two pens, uh, or one more pen from the Crafters Paradise Retreat. So I won both of my door prizes from Crafters Paradise Retreat, happened to be pens. This one is my first pen from Custom uh, Pens by TJ. So I won this one. It's a really interesting colors. It's a, kind of like fascinating colors with these reds, blues, greens. It's not my normal color palette. Obviously you can see I have like a go-to color palette right here. This one's not the normally my normal go-to. It's more blues and reds that I'd go for, but it's a very pretty pen. Uh, and I, it's a really interesting turn. And it's still thin enough here. It's fatter in these other sections, but it's thin in the actual hand grip. So it's still a comfortable pen that I could hold on to. And then one of the two door prizes, or one of the, well, actually one of the door prizes that I, or the, the door prize that I won, uh, which was a huge door prize where I got a couple different things with it, but part of the door prize was this beautiful pen from Poshy Pens. So I pick, and you got to pick what door prize you wanted. And I've had my eyeball on this pen. Uh, and it was so stunning, absolutely gorgeous. So this was what I picked for my door prize from the Great Lakes Escape Retreat. And it was such a gorgeous pen. Uh, and then um, we also, from uh, one of the treats, we got this beautiful Everlasting Tip um, Metal Placer uh, there. And then... From Great Lakes Escape, I did purchase, I think, three of these. The other one, oh, the one is sitting here. So one of the vendors, I can't, and I can't remember the names of everybody, so I apologize if you're watching my video and I forgot the name of your shop and everything, uh, but I'm horrible when it comes to remembering everybody's names. I can picture her face, and I was chatting with her lovely husband, who is a veteran and who is a sweetheart, um, but she was selling resinware. And one of the things that she was selling, and I had never thought of this before, and I'm like, that is the coolest thing ever. She was selling resin ink pens, and I got three of them. So I got this one with the purples. It is so pretty right here. And then I got this one with the green, with the blue, that one there. And then this one I got that I'm going to send to my mom. I just sent a mail the package out to her, and I'm like, why didn't I not, like, put this in the box to send it to my mom? That was, like, so silly. So this one with the square pen with the reds and purples because my mom does like reds and purples. So I'm going to send this one to my mom. But like those are so fascinating. Like the resin actual writing utensil ink pens. And I got these two because they're different shapes. One is blue ink and one is black ink. And I'm like those are so fun. And I love them. So I got like these resin ink pens. So those are my pen haul from the retreat. Um, so I came away with nine diamond painting pens. I was trying to come away with like fewer pen, like not have a ton of pens. And I was like, hey, fantastic. I only came away with like a couple pens, three pens from the one retreat. But then I ended up with uh, getting another pen from the other retreat and then, you know, the other ones. So, oh yes, and I should also show you what I'm putting the pens in because that alone is stunning. So then Lexi was at the uh, Crafters Paradise retreat and I got this stunning uh trinket tray from Lexi uh Sparkle Craft. Look at that stunning trinket tray. It is beautimous with the flowers in it. It is gorgeous. I love it. Love, love, love it. Beautimous. So we're gonna put our pens back in here. So that way we have those in the tray. We're gonna put that one down so that can go up higher. So we've got the pens there. 
and we're gonna go ahead and take a look at our next item on our agenda to see what else we got uh, so these are gonna go off to the side so candy's going in the candy bin so that way I don't have candy sitting around because cats and candy and all the things so we're gonna say off to the side right here because I have to put them in my container. So pens, we got pens, easy day. So then um, Cheryl uh, was at, brought some uh, some special drills with her from uh, DP with Sparklers, and I got some specials uh, that I ordered from DP with Sparklers at that retreat. And then I also ordered, and I also had an order that I had ordered ahead of time that she delivered to me at the Crafters Paradise Retreat. And I bought some special drills, because you guys know I love my special drills and all the bling and the sparkly. It's like, ooh, shiny, must have it, um, that I bought at the Great Lakes Escape Retreat. So I got lots of special drills, so we'll get into that. But uh, part of what I got for the goodies from my, uh, we're gonna go into what I have here. So these are some of the business cards we have here. This, I'm not gonna show you these because these are Gift cards, you guys don't need to see the gift cards. There's a couple different gift cards. There's gift cards from Amazon, which is from my special, uh, my Secret Siren. I have a gift card from Candelicious Pens. I have a gift card from Osnap Crafters Cafe and a discount code for Sparkle Queen Creations. I'm not going to show you guys those because you guys don't need to see my gift cards. But those are gift cards. Uh, and then we have some business cards from people right through here. Um, and some of the different sponsors that we had in addition. These are some of the ones that I had not uh, had any purchases from before, so I saved their cards. So we have Forever Sparkles. Uh, we have Kim's Creative Needle Minders. We have um, TJ and Emily. This is the uh, Custom Pens by TJ. We have uh, So Blingy. Uh, and then we have Archer Arts, Archer's arts. So those were the, the business cards that I saved from the people that I am not familiar with and that I had not purchased anything from. Uh, so some of their stuff is over in here, but I don't remember what was what. So from see the Secret Siren, some of the gifts that I got from my Secret Siren, we're just going to work with what we've got. I got a couple things of, and it was like so perfect because you guys know I love my cherry blossoms. Obviously, I love my cherry blossoms. And she didn't even know it, but she got me, she knew I loved Asian inspired things. So she got me a couple things of uh, sticky notes, which is perfect because I've been running low on sticky notes. And they are cherry blossom themed sticky notes. And this lovely thing of uh, the cards, which are absolutely beautiful uh, cards that I'll be able to use for like thank you cards and anything else that are absolutely gorgeous with these birds and the cherry blossoms. So those are beautiful. And on top of that, some gorgeous stickers that are also very much the cherry blossomy themed stickers. I took them out of their big package. So some spring flowery themed stickers with the cherry blossoms. And here's another one with all the cherry blossoms right there. So I got some stickers to go along with the stationery and the um, sticky notes. Uh, from my secret siren. So those were beautiful. I loved those. Um, we've, there's just a couple stickers, stickers. Those are going to put over there. I bought this from the, this beautiful little sea turtle. Super, super cute from, and look at the little eyeballs. So I got this gorgeous pink amigurumi from the um, one of the vendors at the Great Lakes Escape Retreat could not resist. I mean, how cute is this little sea turtle? So cute, so cute, and the pinks, so pretty. So got her, she is the cutest. Well, we're gonna put her back in the window, out of the way. Um, so Great Lakes Escape, we have uh, a tray from um, Bella Ardenicole, and you can see this one is a grid tray. I have not used it yet, uh, but it is one of their large, uh, 3.1 large entrees and it's a grid tray which makes it great if you're working with confetti and then they put the they 3d printed the logo on the front so you can see that right there 
So we got that tray. And then this is actually a tray. It looks like a suitcase, but this is actually a tray. And I was like, wait, that's not a suitcase. That's just, or not a tray. That's a storage container. And then I was like, oh wait, no, that is a suit, is a, is a tray. It's got grid lines in there and everything. So you could do a lot of drills in here, but it also can double as like a good like to go container where you can put a lot of like goodies in this container for packing. But that's a tray and that's from Archer Arts. Archer's Arts, and it's got the logo and everything on it right there. Um, so that's tray number two. And then we got those from the Great Lakes Escape Retreat. And then I also got, um, we're gonna put that back right there. This one is from the Crafters Paradise 2024. Uh, and this is a Firefly tray. And you can see here is their business card, um, but that is Firefly tray, beautiful tray. They have these little, stopper thingies that come out uh, right there uh, and you've got the little lever thingy to pull it out and I like that they put the name of the tray on the bottom so you know it's an Inferno Nano that's exactly what it is um, so it's a in the, look at you've got the 3d printed image of a mermaid on the front that is that tray the only complaint I have for these trays is since I hold them they need to be like this needs to be sanded down a little bit or rounded a little bit more for me to comfortably hold it without it kind of cutting into my fingers right here but it is like beautiful beautiful 3d printing on this and i love 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 this color so that is tray number three so we've got those three trays right there do, 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 do. Bum, bum. Bum, bum, ba, ba, da, da, bum. One of my uh, prizes, or one of my, uh, oh, it was the um, white elephant, I believe. So my white elephant goodie bag from the um, Great Lakes Escape uh, had a bunch of goodies in it, and one of the items in it was a jumbo uh, word find. So that was part of that goodie bag. Also in that goodie bag was... Uh, this little like first aid box uh, which is the cutest little tin ever and it's got actual like band-aids and these are like perfect they're like actual fabric band-aids but they are the cutest I love these they are amazing look at those patterns on those band-aids are those not the prettiest band-aids ever I love them uh, and then when you use the band-aids you've got this adorable little reusable metal tin too which is perfect um from Great Lakes Escape, one of the donors, our sponsors, gave this like hand knit uh, washcloth right here, which is beautiful color. Uh, and then you've got some green tea hand cream and some uh, white tea bath soap. So that was a little bit of what they gave. And part of the goodie pack from my white elephant box was a lavender shower steamer. And then I've also got a eye mask. So it was kind of like a self-care um, bag. It was really cool. I was like, okay, I like this. And then you got one of these like lovely little beaded eye masks. I need to go put it in the fridge, but I haven't gotten around to doing that. Um, and then this bag right here was the, uh, the rest of the items that was in my, oh, there. So you, I, I took everything out of the packaging. So this is like a file to file down like calluses and then there's some nail polish remover pads. There was some, uh, this I think was in another container. I moved it over to here, but here's some aloe um, hand cream nail file. Here's some, you know, brush. You've got some nail clippers. You've got some cuticle pushbackers. And then you have a face mask, cocoa and shea butter face mask, and then three different uh, nail polishes. So you can do your clear coat and then you've got like a, just a um, neutral color, which actually is a color I could wear in uniform, but then you have this beautiful sparkle color as well. So I could actually do a pedicure because I don't usually wear nail polish because it, I can feel the weight of the nail polish on my fingernails and it bothers me. So I, that always irritates me, it's a texture thing. So I end up not wearing nail polish ever but I will wear, I will wear a uh, toenail it on my toenails and I'll do like pedicures, but I've got a nice little pedicure kit in this lovely little shiny glittery bag. That's just, um, barfing glitter all over my desk. So this was the, my pedicure bag is what I'm calling it. 
And then on top of, or then in another item that I got from my secret um, siren from the previous retreat were these gorgeous chopsticks, which I now can go take and move into the kitchen. But look at them. They are absolutely perfect for me. Look at that pattern, these beautiful koi. And I love the textured ends of the chopsticks. So these are lovely chopsticks. Oh, so, so, so love these chopsticks. Those are beautiful. Because uh, I have so many pairs. I have a couple pairs of chopsticks that are like my go-to chopsticks. And then I have a pair of chopsticks. And then I have like 20 pairs of chopsticks that are boring plain chopsticks. And I'm like, I need to move into like my fun chopsticks. And these are beautiful chopsticks. So now I've got some fun chopsticks to use. And then we have our actual retreat shirt. My other retreat shirt is in the laundry, but this one's from the Crafters Paradise uh, retreat. Um, but look at that image, it is so pretty. And then it's got the sponsors on the back and we had so many sponsors from both retreats as I go smacking my camera, but the sponsors on the back with a mermaid tail. But that is shirt number one. The other shirt is in the laundry. Uh, so I do not have that one pulled out to showcase. And then we have some uh, glitter drills from Muni Made. These are round, hot pink. So those are some glitter drills. And then we have some pixie dust and some, um, I think some pearls for squares that are to be used on the uh, Great Lakes Escape Retreat canvas for adding bling to the canvas. It is a mixed drill canvas. That's just some extra goodies for that canvas. And then I figured I'd use these on one of those canvases. And then we have an air freshener from Distracted by Diamonds, strawberry scented. So that right there, I was going to take it out to my car. So there's that. And then I have this bundle of special drills, which goes for the Crafters Paradise canvas, which is a, uh, which is going to be the same logo that you saw of the on the shirt. That is what the canvas looks like. And these are the, I got the bundle from DP with sparklers to go for that canvas. So we're gonna have some fuchsia sparklers, some green opal sparklers. So here is what they are gonna look like. So here is our fuchsia sparklers. Those are pretty green opal sparklers. Then we're gonna have some sparklers lagoon. Oh, those are stunning. And then we've got some light green sparklers. Those are beautiful. Some sea sparklers, gorgeous. These sparklers neon grapefruit. Oh, I like that pink. And then we have sparklers neon raspberry. Oh, that's a beautiful color. Look at that beautiful hot pink. And then we come into our next ones, our uh, two of the sparklers neon raspberry and then we have some sparklers ocean gotta have the blues so lots of sparklers in this and then you have sparklers rose that lighter pink and then the last one is this opal seafoam foam glow glass oh I like that look at that color that kind of like yellowish green I like that that is beautiful so that is the bundle that I got for the um canvas because I'm like I'm gonna bling that canvas so this is what I got to add to that particular the bundle for the event canvas to work on for that because so I was like that is going to look gorgeous so there is that so I'm gonna put that back off to the side right there and then uh these were the special drills the primary special drills that I purchased from um, the crafters of paradise retreat. This is their, uh, their, uh, fancy dots, six millimeters. They're geared for rounds. And this is a set where you get all of the colors and they're labeled individually. So you know what you have, but they're like little containers and you can open it up and you can say, okay, Hey, these are the, uh, 3812. And you know, Hey, these are the 3812 fancy dots. And you've got the specific color of these fancy dots, which would be, you know, here's a couple of the fancy dots of that particular color. And you've got all these different shades and you can see it's a gradation, rainbow color gradation for it. You've got like your uh, different colors. So, like, so you've got straight 209, 
and then you've got an AB209. And you've got all these different colors coming through of these ones. So there's ABs, there's non-ABs, there's a whole lovely mix. And those are the fancy dots. So I got those um, from Keep You Sparklers. And then I also got the Pearls for Squares uh, set because I was like, this will be perfect. So I got the whole set so I can add those in. And these actually, I've seen them accented for both rounds and square canvases. They're made for square canvases, but you actually can, I've seen people put them on round canvases and you can see, look at all of those colors that we have in here. The whole rainbow of all of these different colors. And those are going to look fantastic as little accents wherever. So those are the pearls for squares APs that I got there. Oh, and look, see, look, the fancy dots even had a label. I just was missing the label right there. So got those two sets there of items. Uh, and then I got, I got a lot of special drills. That, that was like what I bought a lot of. Um, what I also, another item that I bought, cause like I said, I got a lot of special drills. Uh, I wanted to be able to track all of these special drills that I purchased so I can know what I have in my hoard of special drills so I don't go on and buy a bunch of stuff that I don't need. So I picked up a couple of these DMC um, color cards uh, and they're basically, they're just plain like this when you open it up. It has just the DMC but nothing inside. I picked up two of those from Deepu Sparklers and then I picked up this lovely little bag which has everything I need to basically take and fill in what I have for the colors, all of those DMC colors with some double-sided tape right here. It's got a little mini ruler, it's got some tweezers, and it's got an X-Acto knife uh, to cut everything down. So you can use that to cut your tape, cut everything, peel it back. And I can then go through and put my, uh, do like a four spot of, uh, I can basically fill in this color card with the special drills that I have. And I picked up two of them. I have to decide how I want to lay it out. If I want to put like all four of them as rounds, or if I want to do just like ABs of like rounds and squares, do like two rounds, two squares for this. So I have rounds and of just straight ABs on one card and then other types of special drills on like the other card. But I picked up a couple of those plus the kit to be able to work on it from uh, DP with Sparklers because I was like, yeah, let's go ahead and do that, Alyssa. So picked those up uh, so I can do that. That's kind of going to be one of the projects that I work on at some point in my, yeah, at some point in time I will work on that. But I thought that was going to be a smart thing to do, work on that there. We're going to move this back out of the way. And then the other big bulk special drills that I picked up, I love my metallics. And um, at the Great Lakes Escape, uh, Timo was actually selling metallic sets, like 36 color metallic sets. And I love when they come in these little containers like this in a complete set, because then I don't have to find storage. They're in storage and I just put these in like little slots. Same thing with the, these. So this is rounds, all 36 colors, and this is squares, all 36 colors in metallics. I have a ton of round special drills and not very many squares. So I did pick up the rounds. Um, and this shows, this is kind of like the inventory sheet that shows everything that they have in this set. So you can know just at a glance, these are all of the colors that you have in here. All of the metallic colors that you're gonna find in this set uh, that's listed. But as we come through, um, it's facing the other way, but I'll have to turn them around. You can see you've got all of these gorgeous metallic colors. And then if I use all of a color up, then it's easy to just say, okay, let me go ahead and buy that color. But like some of them are ones I've never even seen before. Like this one is metallic kaleidoscope. Oh my goodness, that is stunning. It's literally like kaleidoscope rainbow colors. That is fascinating, I love it. I love some of these greens. These are just phenomenal. Like the Irish spring is just beautiful. Love that Irish spring. So I got this full blown metallic set with all 36 colors. Uh, we're gonna keep this off to the side because I wanted to be able to, you know, have the full set of metallics if I wanna bling anything up. And I love what they're in these little containers like that. So those are the metallic rounds and then the same thing with the metallic squares. Um, there's the full set. And when you look at them, you rifle through, you can say, okay, here we go. And you just pick out the color that you want and you say, okay, here's garden green. And you can look at them and be like, okay, there's these stunning 
stunning drills. Um, because then I now have that full set of rounds and the full set of squares. We're gonna turn it around so it's easier to do it. And I love it when they're in these little containers like this. So much more efficient when they're in these little containers than when they're in something else. But there are those. We're gonna move these out of the way. Um, well, we're gonna we're gonna sort of move these out of the way. Now, what else did I have? Okay, so uh, actually we're gonna look at this. So the other half of, uh, well, another big portion, it was like I said, it was a really good sized goodie, um, like door prizes from the Great Lakes Escape Retreat. Uh, Cause you got one door prize, but you, it was pretty good. I got the pen, I got this quilling set. So I'm really intrigued to use it and try it out. Like it, it sounded like really fun to do as a crafty thing. So this is a quilling set. You've got all of the things you need. You've got the colors of the paper. You got the stuff that I just threw on the floor there, which I'm gonna go pick up before I lose it, which is the glue. Ugh. So you got the glue, you've got your tool bag with some special thingies. You've got the tools, more tools, kind of escaping from the plastic bag that ripped out because it was a cheapy plastic bag. I'm actually going to transfer those over into a non-plastic bag. Let's see how they like being in one of these. We're gonna move them into one of those and see if that helps. Because those things are gonna continue to make a mess if they're in there versus kind of semi-contained some of these loose tool items into one of these. Here's the tools. The really cheap tweezers. I will use some of my other tweezers rather than those. And then we've got this and this. So you've got pins. The tweezers I'm going to leave out. The pinwheel. And we've got that, which is a sticker thing. And why don't we add it? Why don't we just put the tweezers in the bag as well? While we're at it, might as well. We're taking everything else out. Let's take that out. And then we can say, okay, we're done. And now all of the goodies are in their little bag and a little bit more contained than the other. Much better. Happy day. Okay. So quilling set. What does this even look like? I don't even know. And look at this adorable sticker. Just five more minutes, said every diamond painter. So we've got our um, paper quills, which are these. Oh, there's, I didn't realize there was like four packs of little paper quills in here. Paper quills, I think this is where we would pour our glue our stuff to like shape and measure, I guess. And then, oh, that is adorable. Okay, so I think this is like our, maybe I'm like, I wanna see what these, are these like what our patterns are going to be? Because if that's what it's going to be, I would love it to be that. Oh yes, that is phenomenal. So it's more than one. Oh, even better. I'm gonna take it out of that. This is even better. I did, like, didn't even know what I was getting myself into, but that's even better. Um, Yes. Look at that. That is super cute. So it's basically, that's what it's supposed to look like. You make that pattern right there and they say, okay, basically you're going to roll everything up to make it look like that pattern. Uh, so we've got a ballet dancer in blues and blacks. If you could tell what that one is, that one is just like a freestyle kind of pattern. Oh, a camera. It's going to be a camera. Freestyle little camera. I like that one. This one is... Uh, buck to, it's probably some kind of like foreign uh, language. I don't know the word, what that means. And then we've got another uh, dancer right here. 
in the blues. So that one's kind of meh. We've got some balloons. So that one's going to be an easy design to work on, coiling it up for the balloons. We have the flowers right there, which those ones are pretty. This one is really pretty right here. This one's stunning with the bird right there. That bird right there, that one's stunning. And then my personal favorite is this one right here. I love that one. That one's my personal favorite. So those are beautiful. Okay. So I thought it was going to be like one thing. I didn't realize it was going to be like a whole set of them that you got to do. I was like, oh yeah, it'll be like one. No, it's like a whole set. That's fantastic. So it gives us options of which ones to do. Okay. Even better. And then you get your goodies, this, the papers to work on with that. And now we're going to put it back in the bag. So, you know, just collecting hobbies and things to work on in my copious amounts of time that I will spend doing all of these other things. But I was like, you know, you ever want a little bit of a breather from one thing and you want to try something else, I now have the quilling kit that I could use to try something else. And then these you could use as like little accents, but there is a quilling kit. But I thought that was kind of a fun new crafty thing to do for the quilling kit. Another one of the prizes is, or not a prize, but another goodie bag item uh, was this gorgeous little uh, special of a little mermaid with some all of her special drills. And look at those specials in there. Aren't those pretty? Those greens and those crystals. I don't know if you can see it, but it's a little mermaid. Uh, and then she's got uh, a chain that hooks on right here and here that she would hang from. And she's cute as all get out. So she is adorable. So that'll be a fun little special quick project to work up with usually with crystals for those special projects. So there is that one. And then this, uh, one of the items in the bag, the goodie bag that we got from Great Lakes Escape was this like drill, drill uh, care kit. But I love this little bag and it had all of the things that you need to take care of your drills. There's tissues, there's chapstick, there's this to clean like the wax and putty off of your drills, clippers to clip the, like the little tabs off of your drills. There's sanitizer, there's scissors, there's clips to hold things down. There's a file to file your drills. You've got a uh, X-Acto retractable one to kind of like slice on the plastic cover, more alcohol prep pads. You've got a cloth for cleaning glasses and whatever else. And this really nice little um, bag. Like it's a super nice, like different toiletry style bag that I'm like, this is a nice little baggie. So I'm like, I wanna kind of like, sort stuff out and I can totally repurpose and use this bag for stuff because I like this bag a lot. But there is that. And then we played bingo one night and I was on a streak. I don't normally play bingo or things like that and I never win when I play things. But I won two games in a row for bingo. So the first game that I won, I uh, picked up this little special kit uh, for a prize and it's little cats, little dangly kitty cats. Like, look at those little adorable cats. I'm not going to open it and see all the different poses. But I was like, um, yes, I will do that. So I won these little kitty cats. And then the other thing that I grabbed for a prize, I was like, you know what? I'm going to try it out. I live in the desert. It's like an embroidery kit, like cross-stitch embroidery kit of a cactus. And I figured it's literally this big. I can torture myself with something that big. So I picked up the embroidery cactus. I thought that was cute. Um, that was the other prize for the second game <laughs> that I won. Um, one of the things that we did do while we were out there, uh, we had a, uh, for the Great Lakes Escape Retreat, we had a couple games or a couple classes that we got to do. Um, one of them we did was making mosaic tiles. And then the other one we did was like macrame keychains. And there were a couple kits left over. So I snagged an extra macrame keychain kit. And I'm going to make, so this is the kit for that. And I'm going to make uh, another set of macrame keychains 
but this is what they would look like. So these are the two macrame keychains that I made. Here is the pink one uh, right here, and then here is the white one. Uh, so I'm gonna remake these again. I'm just gonna make them with, instead of being solid color, one of them is gonna be like white on the outside and then pink inside, and the other is going to be pink outside and white inside. Uh, so that way they're gonna, so I'm gonna mix up the threads a little bit on those and go from there. But I thought those were super cute. And it was fun, it was something, nice little break from sitting there diamond painting to make these keychains. And then the other crafty thing that we did for the other class was making these little mosaic tile things, like mosaic coasters or whatever. I'm gonna seal them and I will have them as like little things that I could hang up. But this was the first one that I did and I love how this one turned out with the round ones and those colored beads. I love how it looks. It is beautiful and I love like the shiny shinies. So pretty. And then this was the second one, uh, which um, I need to polish the stones a little bit more. But this was the second one and I can't kind of gave it like a flower uh, pattern to it with a white stone in the center and just had it kind of like radiating out from there. But this was that second mosaic tile that I did. But there are the two mosaic tiles that I did. And I love how they turned out. They were quite quite lovely. Uh, that was the crafty things. Here was our name badge uh, for the Great Lakes Escape. With a little luggage tag. Thought that was cute. This is from So Blingy. It's like a little, I think it's like a trivet thing for or whatever for your... Uh, cup to sit on but you could also there's like this opening in it so you could store lovely little thingies on the inside of it if you really wanted to but you can put your cup on it and uh this was from the crafter's paradise retreat kind of like a name badge lanyardy thing like right here so that is a fun one i need to um which actually i could easily use for work because i have all the name badges at work. So this would totally work for that, to put it on for the hospital uh, for work, which is wonderful. This right here is a freebie from DP with Sparklers. Uh, you put it over your uh, mug. Here is a dirty cup sitting on my desk. You'd put it over your mug, which is perfect when you have cats. It's made for like hot or cold beverages, but you can also use it if you have cats and you don't want your cats to go drinking your water or drinking your milk. Because they're like, ooh, cup, let me lick what, and stick my head. And my cats are small enough that their tiny little heads fit down that cup. And they're like, ooh, cup, let me stick my head in said cup. And I'm like, really? Really, girls? Really? Um, this one was in some, I think this was when it's part of a freebie from DP with Sparklers. And then we have from the great, from the Crafter's Paradise Retreat, we had these two little bracelets because, you know, it was a mermaid theme. So this one was beautiful with like that macrame in there. And then this one, because, you know, it was held in Texas, so you gotta have a Texas bracelet right there. So there are those. And then this was like a uh, freebie from uh, DP with Sparklers from one of my, my massive bling bags. And it's like, how perfect is this little uh, necklace? Cause that is an adorable turtle with a baby turtle. And I love my turtles. So I was like, that is perfect. So we're gonna put those right there so the girls don't get it. That's why I've been hiding it because cats. Now, the rest of the special drills, that's like a big bulk of what's up top. Um, Jade, uh, over at Jade Gem Shop at the Crafter's Paradise Retreat, did bring some of her special drills, and I bought uh, basically all like one of each of her special drills that she had because I love my special drills. Uh, I don't have, I have like no special drills that happen to be like squares really. So I picked up this pack is all a different ABs that she has. Um, so this is a pack of her ABs in squares. So I picked that up and then this is the, some ABs in rounds. So I picked this one up as well. Can I love the quality of her ABs as well? So I picked those up and then I picked up her crystals, both in the squares right here. Cause again, I love her crystals and I was like, you know what, I'm going to do these. So that way I've got like one of them, if I'm working on a Jade kit, I can add some bling to Jade kits. Here's her crystals in square. And then here's those same crystals in rounds. So I picked those up uh, there. And then we have, uh, same thing here is some fairy dust in square. 
uh, and some metallics in square from uh, Jada Gem Shop. Um, so I picked up a little bit of everything from her. I love that color. That 959 is such a gorgeous color. So there are those. And now we're going to get into some of the extras that I picked up from, well, we'll go into some of these small things. Choo, choo, choo. So from DP with Sparklers, uh, while we were there at the retreat, I purchased... I think this one I purchased these. Yes. So while we were at the retreat, oh, well, this one was a freebie in one of the uh, goodie bags as a sponsored gift. It's this crystal jelly and it's a really cool like pink, this crystal jelly 956. Fascinating color. Like look at that bright pink color. So I'm like, I'm thinking I might do this in my little tiny mini mermaid kit. That's what I think I'm going to use this one for. Uh, and then they had a, some new product that they had out were these charms. I have yet to figure out what I'm gonna do with these charms, but I'm like, those are fascinating and so cool. So I need to get them. And then the cosmic effects. So these charms are like these big square drills that cover a huge section. And I'm like, these would be really good accents for some different canvases. Like they're not something you're gonna use a lot of, but that's why there's not very many in here in each of these bags. There's just a couple, just like a handful but you don't need a ton. You would just need like one or two on a canvas, but some of them, uh, one of the things I'll probably do is like, if I have a canvas that has a large, large, like a huge color blocking background, these would look really good as you would put them in like maybe the four corners of the canvas or put them like a couple inches apart around as a border on the canvas. That would look really neat as well. Uh, especially like this one is this really pale gossamer, this pink one that looks really pretty. So I picked up these. I thought they would be a nice um, potential accent for different things. Um, and I picked up one of each of the colors just so that way I had something to play with. Uh, and I'm going to put them in because there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There are 11. So I'm probably going to put them in like a small little like container of some type where I can have them spread out kind of like that is. And then this is the other new product line that they had recently. These are cosmic effects and there were one, two, three, four. That's I have two of because I bought them from the one retreat and then I bought, so I bought these all from the one, two, three, four, five, six. There are six of the different colors of these. That earth one is stunning. Like, look at the depths of those greens. So these colors are so pretty. Um, from Crafter's Paradise. But then I was working on Tiny Hermione. And I decided she needed some accents. So I, when I was at the Great Lakes Escape. So I bought this little bag of them. Because I didn't bring any specials with me. To add these ones to the background of Tiny Hermione. Because they give the blue and the purple. So that's why I have a bag and a half. Because this one is like half a bag. Because I used like 16 of them for Tiny Hermione. So that's what that, those were. So those were purchases from the uh, the um, shop or the retreats. These ones that I'm showing you, these are the enhancement sets. Um, so this is the enhancement set for Balancing Act. The little tiny cute bird from Richard, um, Richard Lorenz that you get off of Amazon. This is Pine Tree Haven uh, from Bella Art Diamonds. Oh, look at those drills. Look how stunning the color of those drills are. Um, and then we have Foxy Lady, uh, which is a diamond art club on uh, Camilla de Erica. And then we have Purple Meadow by Angeli Aubrey. We have Stacked Pumpkins with Sunflowers, which is gonna be one of my uh, Drills and Chills canvases. Pretty in Pastel, which is a massive thing of specials. That whole canvas is going to be special drills at the end of it. That's a big one. Lots of specials. And then we have Blueberry Fairy by Jamaica Murphy or Jamushka, uh, which is going to be gorgeous. Look at those drills. And then these are just the random extras. So these were some uh, some pixie dust. I and I got a lot of pixie dust 413 because in squares because that's a color that I plan to use a lot of for some uh, cross stitch conversions. And then a couple glitters and then like a couple other uh, sparklers that I picked up that are not in enhancement sets. So those are the ones that I had delivered to 
the retreat for me were these ones. That way I didn't have to pay for like shipping on them. They just delivered them to me to the retreat for those specials. And now we're gonna get into all the small little things. So these were the Great Lakes Escape Retreat uh, um, release papers, which were actually customized to us. So that was actually like taken from one of my Facebook photos from like 2012, I think. It was like an old Facebook photo uh, that, um, this from Crafts for, with Crashly, that they they went in and like snagged an old Facebook photo. Then we have some O Snap dots uh, that are uh, scented um, O Snap dots. And then we have some uh, putty, uh, this is putty cracker uh, putty that's actually going to have a map on it. It's fascinating when you see the detail on this. So this is the map for the location of the retreat uh, there in Ohio. It's so cool how it does it. Like, look at that, the detail that she does for her release portion of it, the map. And then the putty just smells so good. So it's really fascinating how, like, people will do the crafty things that they do. So there's some O-Snap dots. You've got some putty. These, This is the release paper from the Crafter's Paradise Retreat. Uh, and you can see here is that image. And this is what the, the canvas is going to look like, too. So there's that release paper there. Gotta put them back in. It's always tricky to put it back in after I pull it out. So we got some release papers. I picked up this adorable little uh, articulated um, sea turtle. Reminds me of I can't remember the little the little sea turtle's name from uh, Finding Nemo, but that's what this little guy is. Isn't he the cutest? And he's got like the hot pink, but picked that up from Bella Art on uh, Dana Cole because he was just too cute and I could not resist. So I love this little sea turtle. So cute. Uh, gotta have him. And then we have these O snap dots right here from the other retreat. Uh, and then we had some Pink Sands Patty Wax, which is gorgeous and smells super delicious. So there's that one. And then we had some indigo seas a putty from Miranda's crafty corner so these are all of like the putties and that things and a little uh mermaid tail swax which from being in my car to travel back up here got a little melty and kind of twisted its tail a little bit but that's why it's not laying flat because you know 120 degrees outside um uh, driving back and all of that but little swax there and also from, uh, just, I think this one's also from Distracted by Diamonds, um, Patty Wax, you have this, uh, the different type of container for it, for this one, where it's like, I've never seen that style of container, but it's like a mermaid, and then the, the wax is inside the container there, so that's actually wax as well. And now we also have some washi tape with mermaids on it from Simply Gilded and then the little thin washi there. So we've got some washi tape from Simply Gilded. We have a Distracted by Diamonds washi tape there. Then we have our Coverminder collection. We're gonna move these over here. So we have this beautiful one right here, which I think is from Lexi Sparkle Craft. We have this one right here with the logo on it from, uh, this one was from Diamond Pen Pal with a really, really strong magnet. So that one from Diamond Pen Pal. This was one that uh, I got. This was one that Lexi was selling, which was, I had to have it because it's a little kitty cat. So I had to have that one right there. That little cover reminder was too cute. Um, here is a one from Leopard Leatherworks, the round to it. Here is the metal uh, pin from Great Lakes Escape, really high quality one. Also from Great Lakes Escape, here's a pair of binoculars, 3D printed binoculars. And then we have this adorable one. I think this one's from uh, Chris Crafts, uh, this beautiful resin flower cover minder. And then we have a couple little uh, ones right here, the starfish and mermaid tail right there. And then we have this one. I really, I'm a, really a mermaid. And then this one is a really pretty one. Look at this little mermaid. It's kind of one of those like clay ones, um, but she's beautiful. Look at that little mermaid, gorgeous. 
And then this one is so much fun. Look at that little llama. It's a little llama heart with the cover minder right there. He's so cute. So that is the, oh, it's like now I can breathe. Oh, so much stuff. Yeah, that was all of the stuff. And beyond, and then of course, that doesn't even include all of the drills because there were so many special drills that were purchased or not that, well, that includes the drills, but that doesn't even include all of the canvases. I didn't even, I didn't even bother dealing with canvases because I was like, that's like a whole different ballpark. I'm not even going to address the chaos of canvases. Like that's, that's not something I'm going to deal with right now. Uh, I was like, not happening. Uh, but this at least went over the non-canvas items because canvases, I literally have already put my canvases away and stored them minus the two uh, logo canvases, which are sitting on the corner of the desk for me to take with me to work on while I'm visiting my brother next week. Um, but look at all of these goodies. I'm like, this was so much and so incredibly a lot of stuff. It's pretty crazy. I'm like, oh my word, all the things. Um, but I kind of wanted to share all of this stuff in case you ever wondered like what all you can get at the retreat. Granted, some of the stuff I bought, uh, some of the stuff was door prizes, like all of these special drills here, 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 over there. Those were things that I purchased. Uh, so the special drills were all purchases. Half of the pens were purchases. Half of the pens were prizes. But other than the pen, the half of the pens, all of the special drills uh, that you saw, minus, yeah, all of the special drills that you saw, minus like one or two, um, the everything else was pretty much either a door prize or, uh, for the most part was either a door prize or a swag bag item. So that's pretty awesome. Like the sponsors, they did an amazing job and huge, huge shout out to all of them. It was pretty incredible. But anyways, I am going to call that good for today. Cause that is a lot of talking. That was like nonstop talking with no break. I talk slower and less when I'm doing my whip and chats. So this was pretty crazy, but I thought you guys would like to see all of that fun because it was a lot of stuff and I'm just like overwhelmed with like, what am I going to do with all of this stuff? Special drills in particular. I'm like, oh my gosh, I didn't think I bought that many special drills. Apparently I did. I'm like, wow, that's a lot. Okay. Now I got to take this mess off of my desk. At least it's semi-organized now. That's better than what it was when I walked into my office earlier today. Uh, I got home from work and walked in here and I'm like, ugh, oh my gosh, everything just exploded. Ugh. But anyways, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and upcoming weekend. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.